Guess where I am with snow on the roof in the middle of winter. I'm sitting out in Casper in the driveway. <laughs> and I'm just sitting out here with my little man. This is my reading room, which I use now and then just to have a quiet place to go. But uh, I have a space heater going. It's 23 degrees outside. Uh, the sun coming in the, the windows actually adds a little warmth in the winter and it blocks the heat in the summer, which is great. But see the space heater on the floor? And so I'm nice and toasty, and uh, I have a heavy robe on my lap with Hilda hair on it, <laughs> which you'll see her in just a moment. And I have my lunch, and I'm all ready to just hang out and be cozy and have some privacy and some quiet and do some reading. Reflection, Jay. Yeah. Oh, look at him look. Did you see that? He saw his reflection. Back up the tree again. <laughs> I think we have a new pet. Yep, keep going, buddy. Oh no, don't come in my yard. So in the wintertime, we take our Yetis inside uh, just for safety to keep them in good shape and everything and not expose them to freezing temperatures. So there's no power to the van except for to the space heater. So everything that you see here is run by rechargeable uh, batteries that I just charge in the kitchen. And uh, the two little lights, uh, trees I got on Amazon and then my little warm candles. And then I have a reading light you can see over uh, the bench there where I, could, oh, I just love sitting out here. It's so quiet and so peaceful. And it's amazing the stuff that I see going on in my street when people don't know I'm sitting out there. <laughs> And I do pull the curtains on the sides closed, but you can still hear things going on. And I kept hearing this big truck rumbling, and I'm like, what in the world is going on? So I'm peering out my windows, and I'm thinking, it can't be a garbage truck or a street truck, right? Well, it turns out that the fire department was at the house two doors down. She uh, accidentally triggered her alarm, putting new batteries in her fire alarm. I need to apologize really quickly. Um, we recently got a new iPad, an iPad keyboard case, and so the way that I hold the new case, uh, there's some interference in the next four minute segment, and in a few places you can hear a rubbing sound, which is the keyboard case near the microphone. I will be mindful of that in the future, um, but I don't want to take away the... Um, authenticity of the actual recording so uh, I apologize and I'll try not to do that again. I was sitting here watching Emmy's video and I heard noise and so I looked and that guy showed up to work on her totem things. So this is why you can have a passenger van but still have all your privacy. Okay, there it is. So I can have all the views I want to be able to see everything around me or not. 
And then I put the black um, ripstop in the back. And then the, the pretty light and bright cheerful stuff on the inside. When you walk by here on the outside, the windows are already black. You can't see in. But with this um, black uh, fabric against the black windows, you can't see jack. You can walk by here and you can't even tell there's anybody in here. But I was going to make them separate so you could put up the black when you want privacy. Or like when you get to the campground, you could put up the cheerful ones and have privacy. But I was like, wait. So obviously I put them both up at the same time. And now I don't have to take one down and put the other up and put the other up and take the other one down. Um, so now I have total privacy. And that guy can't see in here to see there's anybody in here. And then when he leaves, I can just open up the windows again. A lot of people buy the, um, uh, the uh, cargo vans that are all solid metal. Some of them have a window uh, in the sliding door if it's a crew which means the two front seats and then a little bench for a crew. Um, I'm having a deja vu. Uh, but we love having windows all the way around. You can see in every direction. If you hear something, you can pull the curtain back and look, you know, and see what's going on out there if you want. <laughs> but I really like having the windows. Um... It's just, I can't imagine being in here and not being able to see out. The little man's hanging tough with his mama. <laughs> I'm going to go bust out some chips and salsa. And bring him in here and have a snack. Emmy's video was really good. <laughs> you guys should watch it. She's so awesome. She's just a nice person, you know. All right. Oh, and here's another thing. If I ever do live in this thing, I'm going to take that sink out <clears throat> and the faucet. It's just a little hole that the pipe goes through so I could put a plug or something in that hole. Oh, no, I know what. So put a water jug below, and then they have these um, uh, USB charging water pumps. I think I showed you guys the one I have, actually. I bought one. We never use the sink. So I think just take that sink and faucet out, and then where the faucet goes through, put the little um, hose down into the water jug, and then have that little tabletop uh, USB uh, pump, and then get rid of the floor pump, which is a marine floor pump. Get rid of the sink, get rid of the faucet, and have that whole counter space for uh, whatever, you know, because plus we have the flip-up one. Um, but like Emmy in her van, uh, she had a sink too, and she got rid of her. I think we paid $99 for it. I can sell it on the local social media thing or just donate it to the thrift store for live and learn 100 bucks. Um, but anyway, he'll be here. He was here for about an hour or two yesterday, so once he's gone, I can open the windows again. Now I have my privacy. <laughs> I want to live in my van like Emmy. <laughs> we didn't put any insulation in our van walls or ceiling or floor. Um, because it is a passenger uh, van, there is minimal uh, insulation, which is plenty warm if you have a space heater and a blanket. Um, I would even camp in the winter uh, if it wasn't too cold, if I had shore power where I could plug in the space heater. Um, but no, we did not insulate the walls. The floor is what's the coldest, and I think we need to put a rug in for cold weather. It stays pretty comfy, but that floor stays really cold. All right, girls, here's my dinner. Uh, the beef, beans, and rice enchiladas soaked in Texas peed hot sauce, chips, and salsa. I am going to grub. It's 
gonna be so good. And then over here, little man's eating his dinner by candlelight. <laughs> oh, this I love Mexican food. Bought this little clip on light I think at Barnes and Nobles years ago it has a bright and a dimmer uh, battery of course and I use all the rechargeable batteries uh, but I've had this light for years and you can clip it anywhere so uh, it's coming really really handy in a lot of places not just in Casper but at home too so I highly recommend getting one for the band because it makes reading really comfortable warm in here. Um, I had the heater off for about an hour too. Because see, because it's a passenger van, it's insulated. All these walls are lightly insulated. But anyway, so like if you're traveling with a family in the winter, <coughs> it needs to be able to stay warm. But look at my little man. <laughs> he's all snuggled in. <laughs> he doesn't care where I'm at. As long as he's with me, he's happy. <laughs> Those blankets are so awesome, $8. Our cats love them too. But anyway, it's a beautiful sunny day here. And I've been out the whole day. I think I've gone in twice to get to pee and to get some uh, um, chips and salsa and stuff. But anyway, <laughs> yay. So the tortillas enchiladas are really easy to make. You can use them with chicken, ground beef, um, no meat at all if you're vegan. Um, so what I do is I preheat my oven to 375 and then I brown up a pound of hamburger and drain it. And while that hamburger is draining, I'll just saute up a chopped onion. Usually I use a yellow onion, but I didn't have one on hand when I took this photo for you. But anyway, um, so then combine your uh, hamburger and onion. The red enchilada sauce, you can get it in mild and medium. Uh, we like it mild because that way I can make it hot with the Texas Pete hot sauce. And Jay can be a wimp and have it mild. But anyway, I just pour maybe a half a cup or so of the enchilada sauce in the bottom of a baking dish and spread it around the bottom maybe a little more if you need it and then I layer I sprinkle on some cheese I sprinkle on the hamburger and the onions I'll take a spoon and just plop on uh, spoonfuls of the refried beans everywhere evenly across the hamburger and uh, then I pour the minute rice on you can use regular rice if you want we're at high altitude so regular rice is an ordeal to cook in the instant pot and so instant rice is fine in a casserole um, <coughs> and then on top of the rice I put um, lots of cheese and then I pour the rest of that enchilada sauce, the rest of the whole can of enchilada sauce, on top of the rice and cheese and the whole dish. And then at the end, I sprinkle on the green chilies. They're real mild. They're not spicy at all, but they make a nice flavor. So sprinkle the uh, green chilies on the very top and then stick it in a 375 on, uh, oven for about 45 minutes. Just keep an eye on it, maybe 30 minutes, maybe an hour. I don't. I never wrote this recipe down, so I just kind of keep an eye on it after about a half an hour, 40 minutes, I think about 40 minutes, and then just bring it out. Let it sit for about 10 minutes so it can set up nicely, so when you slice it, it just doesn't turn into a pool of mush. Um, but you want to bake it long enough so that sauce can evaporate and get thick inside the uh, casserole, but it's so good. When that cheese really starts to brown up uh, pretty nicely, that's about when it's done. So I hope you make it and uh, leave it in the comments if you make it and how you liked it. <laughs>